Welcome along to our fourth video where we are learning how to transition from block-based coding in Scratch over to text-based coding using Python. In today's video, we're going to be playing with outline colors of shapes. So we're going to be looking at the different colors we can use and the different sizes that we can use and how we can adjust those settings um, using code. So the first thing we're going to do in Scratch is we're going to draw three shapes, the three that we've already drawn in our previous tutorials. So we're going to start with a triangle, we're going to draw a square, and then we're going to draw ourselves a pentagon. Okay, so the code that you see here shouldn't be anything new to you. So remember we need this pen extension block brought in. So if you haven't got that already, make sure you go to your extensions and choose pen. And the first thing we're going to do is go to events and bring out when the green flag is clicked. Under the pen section, we're going to choose erase all. So we start with a blank canvas every time we run our program. We always want to be facing to the right. So we point in 90 degrees and we set up our pen color. Actually, we probably won't have to worry about setting our pen color up too much. Oh, actually, yeah, we will. So I'm going to set my pen color up to black. Okay. We're going to change that color a bit later on though. So that's our usual start here in Scratch. We clear the page, point to the right, set up our pen color. We then resize our cat to 30%. So in your properties there, just make that 30 instead of 100. And let's draw the first shape, which is the triangle. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, we are going to go to pen up. Bring pen down in while we're there and in between them we're going to put the go to X and Y. Now the coordinates I want you to start with today is minus 150 and 50. Okay so that just moves it to the left on the X axis and up a little bit on the Y axis. Once we're in position our pen goes down and to draw the triangle you might remember the simple code we use. We have three sides so we use a loop to repeat this code three times and simply move 100 steps and then turn anti-clockwise 120 degrees. Okay, so remember we got that 120 degrees by dividing 360 by the number of sides in the triangle, which is three. And that left us with 120 degrees. And that should have a triangle drawn on the screen. Easy. Once that triangle's drawn, go to events and broadcast a message. That is, whoops, let's put it at the very bottom. That new message should say triangle finished. And we can then bring out the next block of code, which is when I receive message and choose triangle finished. So once that first triangle is done, we are going to add in the next block of code to draw a square this time. Now, if you want to cheat a little bit like me, I'm going to duplicate all of this code here. So I'm going to right click on pen up and duplicate it, drag it and drop it below here. Okay, now we're going to change the coordinates first of all to 100 for the X value, Y value will be 50. Pen goes down on the page. We're going to repeat the code four times. Remember we've got four sides in a square and we're going to move 100 steps and we're going to turn 90 degrees this time to the left. Once it's finished, we're going to broadcast a message, a new one that says square finished. That's it. Let's give it a run. We've now got a triangle. We've now got a square. Okay, so you can see the code is quite similar. Just changing a few little numbers here and there. And finally, we're going to do a pentagon. Okay, so I am going to duplicate all of this code just here that we put in for the square. So just right click on it, duplicate it move it over to the right. In the first block that says when I receive triangle finished, I want you to change that to square finished. So when I get the message that the square is finished being drawn, let's change our coordinates to minus 25 and minus 100. Pen goes down on the page. We're going to repeat the code five times because we have a pentagon with five sides. We're going to move it 75 steps and we're going to turn it 72 degrees. So 360 divided by 5 will give us 72. You don't need to broadcast a message at the end, so just get rid of that. And that should give us the three shapes. 
Okay, perfect. That is looking good. Now what we're going to be doing, the whole point of this tutorial is playing around with the different colors and outline sizes. So we're going to change the look of these three shapes. Let's go and start over here with the first one, which was the triangle, the one with the three sides. Before we start drawing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my pen color to something else. Okay, I'm going to choose something nice and bright here. I'm going to go with a blue, so something like that. Okay, I'm also going to set my pen size up. Okay, I'm going to set it to one. The bigger that number, the thicker the line is that the turtle, uh, that the pen is going to be drawing with. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at one right now, which is the skinniest line possible. If I give that a run, we should just see my triangle change to a blue. You'll notice that the other shapes did too, but all we're looking at for now is the triangle, and it's gone to blue. That's perfect. That's all I want to do to the triangle. Over on the square though, which is the next block of code, we're going to bring in the same blocks, but change it up a bit. So first of all, let's set the pen color to whatever color you want. I'm going to choose red. And I'm going to change the pen size again. So look for the one that says set pen size, where pen color. Oops. It's not set pen size, it's change pen size. I'm going to change this pen size to five. Okay, so it's going to be a bit thicker now. That's all I'm going to change with the square. So you'll see that this will stay skinny and blue for the triangle. And the square is going to turn thicker and red. Okay, so we can see the difference now that the pen size is making. Finally, I'm going to go over to the pentagon. And I'm going to get a bit fancy here and do a multi-colored pentagon. I'm going to start by setting the pen color to a fluoro-y looking green. So something like that, like a lime color. And then, if I just give that a run, you'll see that it goes fluoro green. But I want each side to be a different color. So what I can do, down towards the bottom here, each time I draw a line, so each time I move 75 steps and then turn, I'm going to change the pen color by a certain number. So I'm going to, you could leave it as 10, I'm going to go with 20 and give it a run and you'll see you get these rainbow colors. If I leave it as 10, let's have a look at what effect that does. Okay, you see you get different colors there. If you change it by 30, you'll probably get different colors again. Okay, but I found 20 to be a bit more colorful. Okay, so that's how we basically um, adjust the pen. Actually, I might adjust the pen size again for this pentagon. I forgot to do that. Let me just chuck it in there. I'll make it 10 so it's even thicker than the square. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. So you've got three different shapes now, lots of different colors going on, and some different thickness to those lines. What I'll do now is head over to Mew and code up something fairly similar. Okay, so pop on over to Mew and add in that first line of code we always add in from turtle import star. So from that module of code written by somebody else, we're going to import everything inside of it so we can use that code to draw on the screen. We're going to start today with a triangle. So I'm going to put in a comment first of all that says triangle. Now I'm going to lift my pen up off the page. I think that's what I, actually no, I didn't have that first. I changed my color and pen size. Okay, so to change the pen color using the turtle over here, all we do is write the word color using the American spelling. So we get rid of the U. And in brackets and quotation marks, you pick a color. I've chosen blue. Okay, the pen size is one. I put that in brackets. Okay, so that makes my line nice and skinny. Then I can lift my pen up off the page and tell it to go to the starting coordinates. Um, what did I have? I had minus 150 and 50. So minus 150 for the X value, 50 for the Y value. And then we put our pen down on the page ready for drawing. Once the pen was in position, we just created a loop. So for I in range three, put a colon, press enter. And we moved it forward, I think it was 100 steps, yep. And we turned left 120 degrees. And I think that was it for our triangle. Let's just save this program and we'll give it a run in a sec. So we'll call this number four, 
outline colors. Give it a run. And got ourselves a blue triangle. Okay, that looks perfect, just like we had in Scratch. Next thing I'm going to do is the square. So I'm going to put in a hashtag and write square for my comment. First thing we'll do is set up the color. Remember it's changing to red this time. So we just write the word color and in brackets and quotation marks, write red. We're then going to change the pen size to five. Okay, it's getting a bit thicker now. We then lift the pen up off the page so we can move to our coordinates. So we'll go to, what do we have, 100 for the X and 50 for the Y. We then put our pen down on the page, ready for drawing. And all we did was create a loop for I in range 4. So four sides in a square, so we repeat the following code four times. And we're just going to go four to hundred and left oops, 90 degrees. So that should give us a red square that is a bit thicker with the pen size of five. Let's have a look. Perfect. Okay, so we've got the triangle and square done. To finish off with now, we're going to do the pentagon. So put in a comment that says pentagon. Make sure you spell it right, unlike me. There you go, pentagon. All right, so for the pentagon, same sort of deal. We pick the color first of all, which I think was lime. Actually, you don't even need to do that for this one. Just bear with me, I'll show you another way to do it. What we need to do here is change the pen size. Oops, and we don't need quotation marks, we just need a number. So pen size is going to be 10, nice and thick. We'll then lift our pen up off the page. We'll go to the set coordinates, which were minus 25 and minus 100. So minus 25 for the X value, minus 100 for the Y value. Put the pen back down on the page. Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Okay, for I in range. Now when we do a pentagon, usually we just write five. But instead of writing the number five, I'm going to write five different colors in there. Okay, and instead of using rounded brackets, we're going to use square brackets. So I'm going to start with the color lime, then red, and purple, whoops, and yellow, and then blue. Okay, I know that's a little bit confusing, but what we've done there is basically created a list of five colors. One, two, three, four, five. They're the five colors I want to use in my pentagon. So it's still going to repeat our code five times, just that each time it runs our code, it's going to change the color. Okay, so on the next line, we just write color the American way and in brackets write I. I'll explain that in a sec. We then go forward the usual distance, so 100 steps, and then we turn left 72 degrees. Okay, so each time we repeat this code, it picks the next color out of the list above. So the color will be lime to begin with. That'll be the first side of our pentagon, which will be the base, I think. Okay, it goes forward 100 steps, turns left 72 degrees, and comes back to the next color, which is going to be red. It will then draw the red line. Turn left 72 degrees and go purple. Okay, draws it and goes to yellow, draws it again and goes to blue to finish off with. Okay, a little bit confusing that there. I don't expect you to really understand that or use it in your assignments, but it is good to know that you can make a list of colors and um, our code will basically loop over that list and draw each side of the pentagon a different color. Let's give it a test run. First one's drawn, second one's drawn. Let's see if these colors change. Oh, didn't like something. Oops, I know what it was. The word range shouldn't be there. Let me try that again. So in our loop here, it says 4i in. Just use the colors. Don't use the word range. That was my mistake.
There we go. So we've got our pentagon drawn. As you can see, it started with the lime. Then it went to the red, purple, yellow, and finished off with a bit of blue. All right, a little bit tricky, I know. Okay, but if you've copied exactly what I've got, you should have yourself those um, three shapes drawn nicely. Remember to finish off with, you can put the hide turtle at the bottom. And if you would like, back up near the top here, you can change the speed to, say, speed zero, so they instantly appear on the page. All right, so that is how you now um, learn how to, or oh, sorry, this is how you change the outline colors and sizes in both Scratch and Python.